I don't know where that fly went, but let me just tell you, as soon as I see it again, it's dead on sight. On ow. Oh, it's Scenarian Ward. Of course. Okay. Okay, I'm dumb. What the f No! No! Oh my god. Okay, that was bad. Pretty bad. We burn. So old Ticketus Warlock was kind of bad against aggro decks because they did a lot of damage to you and you didn't have as much healing. So this deck is a little bit more proactive. You have some more demons in the deck. You have cards like the Fire Breather to have another board wipe. You have the uh, Minari Mosher to give yourself some lifesteal if you're able to get a demon to stick on the board. And then you have the Void Drinker, which is a great mid-game taunt to keep you from dying. I think that this build is a little bit better than the old Ticketus build into aggro decks, but a little bit worse into control decks because you don't have as much late game. As you can see, you only have like one Twisting Nether and no Alex Straza. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, kind of useless, but good removal, good draw. Kind of important to me. I really need those two cards. One of them is, like, my best form of removal to kill off a big minion early. The other one is my best source of draw. Especially if we draw two demons, which could actually happen, because we have a decent number of demons in the deck. How do you pronounce your name? Put like the pronunciation if you don't mind. You know, like the words. When you break up the word with like the dashes, you know what I mean. How do you say your name? Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um. Two demons. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, baby. In GM, I saw every ogre with ogre, or every, blech. that's not how you say words. I saw every, um, GM with ogre mancer. I mean, it's probably better, but somebody said that they were performing really, really well with this deck. They are like 19 and 8 or something with this version. And I was like, you know what? That sounds pretty good to me. We'll kill off both of these things. He's up with a 4-4. That 4-4 can trade in, and if it doesn't, I'll figure out another way to kill it. It's fine. Right now, this trade works. If it doesn't work, we could potentially Hysteria and kill it off using other things. So, I'm fine with this. E... Emili. Emiliano. So, it's not Emili, it's Emili. Like, Mil, E, Ano. Ah, no. I'm trying my best out here, man. <laughs> I really enjoy your face, Underworld. Well, thanks, man. I really enjoy your face, just in general. Never seen it, but I can tell I'll enjoy it. This one's better for long games? I was gonna say the opposite. I was gonna say this one's better for shorter... Oh, fudge. Oh, he coined it. I was like, how did he even afford that? But it was... It's fine. It's fine. Everything's under control. Um... All right, I would have liked to have had some extra things, um, or to have corrupted that, I meant, a couple of times, but better than nothing, I guess. Now, let's see here. What's the play? I think the play is to do nothing for this turn. Oh, that's kind of gross. And just play this for now. There's a bug, sorry. I wasn't just clapping for no reason. I know that looked weird. I realize this. Um, but anywho. I don't want to play the Mosher because the Mosher is good for healing. However, I kind of want the tempo on the board. I know it's not permanent. I just want the tempo. Because he's a paladin deck, right? Like, his whole thing is, like, I am the tempo player. So I need to have a way to stop him from being tempo. You see what I mean? Like, that's what I'm trying to do, essentially. Sometimes I win primes with fatigue. I mean, obviously, Control Warlock in general is good in two slower matchups. But, I don't know. But the... Oh, hand of it all. 
But the problem with this one, in terms of that, is um, it has one less twisting nether, doesn't run Alex Straza, doesn't have the strong man, strong men for extra um, Yashraj value. It's just in general a little bit weaker, in my opinion. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad late game. I just think it's better early game because you have a couple more early game cards like Fire Breather and Void Drinker, which is an early game, but it's more mid game, so you don't die as quickly. And free admission to draw you some stuff and the um, Minari Mosher, which draws you a ton of cards. Like, I don't know. We'll keep the demon alive. Trade, trade, trade. And then trade this here. We get to keep two minions alive, which is pretty good. We still save Twisting Nether. We can life tap next turn, actually, because we have a lot of resources. Um, and we're pretty much good to go at this point. Did I win against Druid? I beat the first Druid, lost to the second one. They top decked Wild Growth. So they played Nature Studies, right? Didn't have anything good in their hand. And then they top decked Wild Growth. And then they top decked Overgrowth. And then the discovered card was Celestial Alignment. And then they top decked Nourish. And then the game was just over. Basically, every card they played was top decked except for the Guardian Animals, which they had in their hand. It was crazy. I don't even know what the other card they kept in their hand was. Um, my assumption is that it's some sort of counter spell. Netherwind? Fine, we'll trade into that. It's fine. It's unfortunate, but whatever. I don't really care that much. We still have good removal. We still have a ton of stuff in our hand. We're fine. Still have Tamsin with two really good uh, shadow spells. Actually, four really good shadow spells. Oh! Actually, if he's not Libram, that's not going to be that good for him. That actually is good for him, fun fact. Oh my gosh, wait, that's actually crazy. This guy's cracked! Highest rank I've ever been was, I think, 72. And then I was like, why am I grinding so hard for this? There's no reason. Uh, we basically get to go... School Spirits into this and wipe the board entirely. I want to do this second so that way I don't accidentally deal damage to my own minion, but we get to kill off everything and pass. Pretty sure the dragon is Alex Straza, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I just didn't like grinding because I like playing a giant variety of decks and just doing whatever, you know? And I can't really do that with this. It could be the Amalgam, actually. Yeah. Um, hmm. Play Jaraxxus. It's a pretty fine board to play Jaraxxus on right now. Like, worst case scenario, he develops more and then I Twisting Nether. And then just get a 6-6. Six, six. Like, right now, it doesn't matter. Oh man, I dropped from 4k Legend to 14k trying to make rogue decks work. Do you think there's a deck list that can compete with the aggro decks um, or warriors and paladins? I mean, Miracle Rogue, I think, who played it in GMs? Like, no hands? And I played Miracle Rogue, and it was pretty decent, actually. And, um... Weapon Rogue is also moderately okay. Hey, man, love the content. How is the Warlock so far? Uh, this version is interesting, to say the least. Wouldn't say that it's bad. Nor would I say that it's particularly good. Wait, if I just Hysteria, will, that'll kill, will that kill everything? Boom, that's... One, two, three, four. And it's fine. It won't quite kill it. But I'm fine taking a little bit more damage and just getting Ticketus out there and burning some of his cards. Let's burn them all! Burn them all! He loses. That's huge, actually. That's his, that's his main late game card, along with, I guess, Ogremancer. Oh my gosh! Two of those cards were massive, by the way. Ogre Mancer and Hammer of Nauru, absolutely massive for him to lose there. Goody Two Shields is pretty decent. Hand of it all, probably. Oh! Fudge! Okay. Now that was a very strong play. For sure. Poison Rogue today in GM was pretty good. Um, was it? Was it really? All I saw was no hands play it, and he got blasted because um, 
I forgot he was playing, but he ran um, an acidic swamp ooze and kind of just destroyed him. Let's just kill that and hero power and kill off this. Kill off the murloc. There's no reason to keep it up. I might as well keep the drain soul, right? Because I don't really... I feel like there are other better things that I'd need to remove with the drain soul other than a 1-1. One, one. And even if he pumps it up and kills Tamsin, it's not like it's that big of a deal. Like, that's fine. I send my 6-6 six, six into his 6-6. Six, six. It doesn't matter. Oh! Fine, fair enough, whatever. I have Twisting Nether eventually if he gets goes for the 10-10. I'm a returning Hearthstone player. What shall I play to get back into it? I would say Face Hunter. Um, a Paladin deck like this. There's an Aggro Paladin that's good, a Secret Paladin that's good. Um, if you want a more Control deck, I'd say Control... Um... Control Priest is probably, like, the best deck in the game right now. In my personal opinion. But that's just my opinion, obviously. Taunt minion, kill this, hero power, all that jazz. Save this for a more important minion. But those are the main go-to decks, in my opinion. Rogue is complicated, but can be really good. What other good decks are there? Yep, okay, this is what we saved the uh, Twisting Nether for. Or I guess, technically, Hysteria could be really good as well. You know what? Cascading. Cascading's even better. We can just Envoy and Cascading. I if I play Asteria, that could kill my own minions, but basically we just go Envoy, hit this into that, take one, and then Cascading to kill two things and hit them. Oh boy. Yeah, he's just done. This deck is surprisingly decent. I'm 3-2 and two with it right now, which is solid. I think it does better into these more aggressive matchups because you have a couple more early game cards. That's basically it. Best, I auto-concede versus Warlock. Well, two things. One, one bad matchup doesn't mean the game is the deck is bad. By that logic, Face Hunter sucks big doo-doo because it gets slammed by Priest. Like, n no, there are bad matchups for every deck and every class, except Paladin right now because it's broken. Um, and even then, if they don't have Ticketus, you beat Warlock most of the time. Also, just change how you mulligan against Warlock. Literally mulligan away your good early game cards and try to find your late game win conditions. <laughs> Stupid bug. Uh, so that way they can't burn them. And that's how you win the Ticketus matchup. It's actually not that bad. I'm like 50-50 against it with Control Priest. To be fair, I think I've only played four games against it, but tomato, tomato. I'm going to get rid of this so I have more demons for free admission. I think that's a little bit greedy, but we're going to go for it anyway. Can you give the deck? Gosh darn it, I always forget to pin it. I send it, and then I forget to pin it. Here you go, I'll send it again. I'll pin it this time. I'll make sure to do it. Remember me, PT player? Honestly... I'm gonna say no. I don't remember you. I apologize, but I'll try to next time. I mean, if people are here consistently, like I do remember their names. It's not like I forget people. It's just they gotta be here fairly regularly for me to like get accustomed to their names. Not very good with names, which sucks because I used to do, um, I used to be uh, like a camp counselor, which means that Oh, sick. We got some stuff. Okay. Uh, which means I had to work with, like, kids a lot. And I needed to remember a new set of kids' names every week. And it would always take me, like, three days out of the week to finally start remembering kids' names. And by that point, it would just be embarrassing if I didn't know it. Also, he's going Celestial Alignment. He's already got the sick ramp. He wins this game because he's Druid. It's just a bad matchup. Like, Warlock gets kind of blasted by things that super mega high roll, but really capitalize on things that don't. Like, if they don't super mega high roll, I'm in a much better position. But who knows? Who cares, really? It's fine. Not a fan of drawing a soul fragment. Really not a fan of that because we have both of our void drinkers in our hand. We're going to try to draw for our removal. We need to try to draw and find Nether or Cascading Disaster before it's too late. Not gonna lie, you do seem like a scout trooper. 
I mean, I was in Boy Scouts for like a year and a half, but I just didn't really like camping. I'm a video game nerd, and going into the wilderness for two or like the weekend, or usually we went on like long weekends, so it was like a three day thing, was just not my cup of tea, you know? Okay, so we got cascading, which is great. Son of a biscuit! There's no way. Okay, we soul fragment my own minion. So we can put soul fragments into the deck so I can play Void Drinker and not have it be cringe. Oh my gosh, I wanted to save it, but we couldn't. It's fine. At the end of the day, we're still fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh! If he plays Celestial Alignment... I was going to say, if he plays Celestial Alignment, I'm doomed, but this is fine, man. I'm chilling with that. Yay, you get to draw a ton of cards. Sick, dude. You're so much better than me. Wow. You got to ramp up. Imagine. Hysteria is a shadow spell, yeah. So it synergizes with Tamsin. Will you play Ping Mage today? No, I might play Spell Damage Mage. Or no, Minion Mage. I'm not sure yet, but not the other one. Lunar... Rude. Into overgrowth? Rude. Yeah, basically this game's already over. Like, I don't even know why I'm still in this game. <laughs> we play that again to protect myself a little bit more. All he needs to do is play survival. Then play the clown. The following turn. I don't have enough removal to deal with it, and then I lose. Yep, okay. Then he has Clown, and I just die. Like... What am I supposed to do there? There's nothing I can do, really. Drain Soul? This is fine. He's gonna play... I don't know if he trades first. I, I assume he'd go face and then play the clowns. And the reason why I didn't kill that off is because if he does decide to fudge... Gosh darn it. The reason why I didn't decide to trade there is because if he does... If he did play the clown, I could hysteria this and it would kill off three clowns. So that's why I, d I specifically decided to not go face there. But instead, it seems like it really screwed me over. I know it doesn't matter, but earlier against Paladin, you used Tamsin and could have hysteria their Silverhand Recruit to get a hysteria that costs zero instead of three, but it doesn't matter. I mean, that is true. I could have done that, yeah. He doesn't want to overdraw. This kills three things, but I need to save it. I want to make him overdraw two cards by killing this off, so... Let's do it. Let's make him overdraw two cards. That'll trade into that. It's fine. He loses a strong man. That's decent, I guess. Basilisk? You know, if I get another Hysteria, it's kind of poggers, actually. You got a Prime. That's actually not bad. Okay, so he lost another Survival of the Fittest. It's actually pretty good for me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, if he plays the Clown, and I don't have Twisting Nether, I die. He only gets a 4-drop for this. What?! What's his other 8-drop spell? Two guardian animals. What's his other 8-cost spell? Am I- am I dumb? What's his other 8-cost spell? There's a stupid fly. Oh my gosh, I missed it again. Two guardian animals. Two survival of the fittest. 
What's another 8 cost spell? Have I watched the TV show Gotham? I, I have, yeah. First control, doc, control deck legendary should be Ticketus and Yashiraj. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. How do I remove this? So you go boom first. I can play everything. Okay, boom. Then boom to kill off that. And then we have to Cascading Disaster. I have to top deck Twisting Other in order to stay alive this game. Unless he doesn't have the clown. What is his other 8 cost spell? If it were 7... I'd be like, oh, that's Celestial Alignment. That could be the other spell. But it was eight. Yeah, we're dead. We lose. Unless we top deck Twisting Nether right now. We have this and one hero power to potentially get it. I mean, it doesn't matter. The game's still over. But at least we bought ourselves one turn. He plays the second one, right? He has to. I don't know where that fly went, but let me just tell you, as soon as I see it again, it's dead on sight. On ow. Oh, it's Scenarian Ward. Of course. Okay. Okay, I'm dumb. What the fuck? No! No! Oh my god. Okay, that was bad. Pretty bad. We burn his last cards and play Cascading. You have no resources left. Broom, Gidra, Overgrowth, Cascading, solid enough. Pass. He's in fatigue, but it shouldn't matter too much, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm so doomed. I'm so doomed. <laughs> I mean, maybe I win. I can't believe Scenarian Ward was the other card. I forgot that that even existed. Question for Chat and Ecor. Is Lyrum Paladin any good after the Penflinger nerfs? No. Wait. No, wait, that's fine. Is there a way that I can kill them without having to play Yasharaj? I think the answer is no. Then we gotta play this. We get back one. Both of the, both of them are three, so we kill that off. We play Ticketus again. It burns him nothing, but that doesn't matter. We've got three big minions. We got the middle one being the biggest in case he's got a cleave. So far left in his deck, he's got a primordial, a lake, a Cyanarian ward, or in his hand, sorry. A broomstick and maybe a wild growth. Wait, what? Oh, and then he plays broomstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that's fine. Like, we knew that was coming and we don't care that much, I don't think. That's pretty massive, actually. So, this card is Yashiraj, right? So I have to Hysteria. I'd say Soul Fragments in my deck. So that way if I draw Soul Sociologist, she's better. And then play this to do the last little bit of damage. Because that is a dragon, not a demon. So Hysteria. Hits that. Then I play Soul Shear. Then I play this. Then I play this. Just because I can play that. So he's taking damage and fatigue. He's got Yashiraj. She gets just Carnival Clown. Maybe it's not Yashiraj. Then what was it? What the heck? Why would you not run Yashiraj in that deck? I'm so confused. What an absolute monster game that was. Oh my gosh. That was so stressful. I really thought I was going to lose. But I didn't because I'm a god. Um... 
I actually do like Envoy a pretty decent amount, but I don't think he's mulligan worthy. I think that I need more early game against a Paladin. This is all very good stuff right here. Very solid stuff right here. He plays the one drop. I play my one drop. He plays Hand of a Doll and kills mine. I play Soul of Sheer and kill his. Don't be a 1-3. It's a 1-1. That's eh, fine. Another Spirit Jailer. Honestly? Gonna coin out both. We'll be life tapping fairly regularly. And I think having the extra early game tempo against the Paladin is really important. And if he doesn't have Hand of a Doll, then we can life tap. If he does have Hand of a Doll, then we soul shear it and that fucking sucks. But like, there's nothing I can do about it. Like I said, predicted the entire first couple of turns because Paladin always has Hand of a Doll turn two. And they always have a one drop. It's kind of busted, actually. Oh, you built this for me? Son of a gun, dude. There's no way. Love healing nothing. Okay, I'm getting tilted for no reason. Obviously, it's there's a, always a chance that he has these things. We make another decent trade. We're left with a 3-4 on the board. This isn't bad. I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to heal up anything off of these... Stupid bug. Ah, I want to slap it. I mean, fine. I'll take that. That's fine. Whatever. We'll pass. If he plays Blessing of Authority on this card, I am doomed. But my hope is I get to Hysteria and kill off something. And maybe he doesn't trade into my 3-4, because if he does, then that's 4 damage not going into my face for this turn, which is nice. What deck beats Rush Warrior? I mean, if you can get enough early game tempo with an aggro deck or a paladin deck, you can win. Or if you're a control deck and you get enough early game or late game stuff, you can win. Um, Hysteria here is pretty good. And he decides to make the trade, so I'm a happy camper. Bonk, bonk. Well, I guess technically we should have life up first, but whatever. It doesn't matter. The play was not going to change. Imagine putting Magtheridon in mid-range Demon Hunter. It just won't work. As much as I think it would be fun... And Magtheridon's a cool card that I used to run a couple of times. Um, he's, it's just not very good. Oh boy. Well, uh, it looks like this is the beginning of the end for us. Neither of them were demons, actually. Put some armor out there. This is fine. We can figure out a way to win this. If we're able to hit the 1-3 into his 4-4, four, four, then we can play two things that do two damage to the board and wipe his 4-4 four, four and whatever other minions he ends up playing, which could be solid. Oh, there's something in my eye. Ah. But it's fine. After this game, I need to take off my sweatshirt. It is way too hot in here. What am I sipping on? Just water. Or perhaps it is alcohol. You'll never know. Do I seem drunk to you? Who knows? Maybe this is just what I am. Or maybe this is what I'm like when I'm drunk. Maybe when I'm drunk, I get brought down a little bit. So I'm kind of tired. Who knows? Only I know. You'll never know. You'll never get the answer out of me. Soul Shear, wipe the board, Voosh it. Not bad. And then that trade could happen. It's not bad. Igor's 100% drunk, I swear. Who knows? Igor, alcoholic confirmed. Maybe? Who knows? 
What is top legend for you? Top 1,000? Uh, yeah. I mean, top 1,500 is, like, high legend, in my opinion. Because that's when you usually get the 11-star bonus. But, like, according to Hearthstone Replay, top legends, top 1,000. I don't know. I'd say top 1,500, though, is, like, high-ish legend. e -coholic. Is it an alcoholic? It's e -coholic. Ha! It's funny. Wait, what? Um... Now hold on. What if he double activates something really good? I mean, he kills my 4 3, right? He just kills it for free. Oh my gosh, this stupid fly that keeps, like, buzzing right past my face. It needs to die. In the nicest way possible, I have to kill it. It is my life's mission. It's so annoying. Boom, boom. We'll life tap once first, see what we get. Free admissions, not bad. Uh, boom, and Drain sold that. I need to play free admissions soon. I need to get better cards. Igor's been doing a drunk stream like we've asked since day one. You guys just couldn't tell. I continuously stay away f or stay from Diamond 5 to Diamond 1. And sometimes make legend by the end of the season. Any tips? Um, sometimes just gotta first grinding games can be really important. Just sometimes it's just the fact that you're not grinding enough games. Another thing is at those ranks, you don't want to be a meta slave. I mean, okay, there are two things you can do. You can either be a meta slave like face hunter or paladin and grind out games with those because they're good, or you could be the anti-meta slave and go priest or like control warrior because it does well against the two best decks in the game, Paladin and Hunter. So there are two ways that you can really do that, and if you're playing off meta stuff, or if you're playing like, okay decks like Control Warlock, even if you're good, they're just inherently going to be harder to climb with. That's just the way that it is, honestly, and there's nothing that you can, like, there's nothing you can really do about it either. It's just Control Warlock kinda sucks right now. Don't draw me. Ugh. I don't want him to lower the cost of this stuff even more, but I feel like free admission is just better. It's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Who cares? Not me. I don't care. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> this guy cool as cucumber. I don't care that I'm getting wrecked and I haven't drawn tickets yet, even though it's Something that I really, really wanted to get. Ecor, we need you. Don't drink too much. True. Why is it so hard to copy a link in YouTube? I don't know. I feel like if they're gonna have pinned messages, you should be able to copy what's in the message. I don't know why it's impossible to do it. Like, I'm gonna go on my phone right now. And just see if there's any feasible way that I can copy the pinned deck code. Because if you're on PC, like, it's doable. Actually, wait. Oh, no, I don't have my deck code for this deck on Hearthcone yet. I can't send you a link. Also, I'm pretty sure I blocked links, but I'm not sure if I blocked the links for myself. Hold up. I can make a Hearthcone link right now real quick for you. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'll try to make a link right now and see if it'll send. I feel like it should work because I- No! It does work, it does work, it does work, it does work, it does work. I know that it works. I can confirm that it does in fact work. Because I gave myself permission in my channel. But hold on, this- sh one second, I'll send you the code after I take my turn. So I need to heal up with the Mosher and trade here. And also play Malicia and trade here and here. That's pretty good to me. The seals me eight. And then we play this. We get four and we trade in these two. It's not bad. We've also got absolutely nuts removal. Like, we've got this with this and this. And if we can draw another 2-drop spell, we don't have another 2-drop spell. Never mind, I lied. 
But we could do this, and then this, 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 and that's eight damage to the whole board. Not to mention also twisting other. Like, we're chilling at this point. But I will, um... I'll send you guys a link right now. That should work. You guys should be able to see that because I'm a mod on my own chat. And mods are the only ones with the um, ability to post links. But now he can't kill me. I wiped the board. And now he's sitting there like, what the heck do I do now? And now you should be able to click the pinned tweet. Because it's a actual link. Game of Justice is fine. Does he have pen flingers or like consecrate or something? No way. No way. Why would you run pen flingers in this deck still? Oh, no way, man. No way, man. Well, he successfully wiped the board, which is unfortunate. It is most unfortunate. No. No. Why would I draw tickets now? Okay. That's fine. Left turn first. See what I draw. We play Void and you and hit him. He just pen flingers and kills these off. I absolutely needed to corrupt Ticketus, but I'm not going to be able to anymore. Oh, it's so rough. That actually sucks. I haven't drawn either Cascading Disaster either. Like, some of my most important cards. Like, I don't need Tamsin or School Spirits into this matchup. I need Yashra's, Jaraxxus, Tigidus, Cascading, Sociologist. And I only drew a couple of them. Actually... Fair. Wow, he's giving up one of his things? Why would you not just hero power and put it on that? Are you insane? I guess if he has Lady Leodrin, maybe it would work. Okay. I mean, I've got no silences or whatever, so basically he gets to pen flinger and ping my minions every single turn. That's kind of bad. Two of them are Hand of Adults, I'm hoping. So he's got four Libras of Hope, and at least one hand of it all, maybe two of each, I mean, I guess that could be it. If I kill off his 6-8, he will overdraw a card. So that's always nice. He pushes one damage. It's fine, whatever. I don't want to answer that question. Nope. Next question. <laughs> Leaving Paladin is good, but not top tier anymore. That is true. That is a pretty decent explanation of it. So if I go Tamsin, School, Drain, I can also Life Tap. But why would I ever... Why would I School Spirits? It would only hurt my own minion. I mean, I guess we could school spirits once to get soul fragments into the deck. Let's see what we get off of this first. Solarian Prime, not bad. So we go boom. Heard of me. This once. Drain soul as well. Now we have two of these good removals for free. This ends up dying for sure next turn, but at least he can't do damage to my face. He should overdraw, right? Oh my god, I saw the bug again. It flew right below. Okay, he lost some Murrow. That's decent. I mean, at least he can't wipe my board as easily anymore. I can't really play some, um, bla oh, ugh. Can't really play the prime yet. I need to wait. Hey, loser. <laughs> for duty. Is Secret Paladin better than Libram? By far, yes. I want some dust, I'm sorry. I cannot really help you with that. I want to help you, but I can't. I don't have any other way of gaining life. I have this and some soul fragments, and that's it. That is problematic.
Drawing Soul Fragments now is actually good. We don't need them in the deck anymore. We have one Void Drinker, but we could put them in for free with School Spirits. I want to Prime. Jaraxxus? Eridon Lord of the Burning Legion? Not bad, I've got to say. Could be worse. But I also definitely need to kill off that 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, I can still kill it off even if I play this, right? Doesn't matter. We just go trade ping ping. And then get a 6-6 six, six every turn. Sadly, that's what I have to do. We hit him in the face, though. We still got some good removal. We've got Ticketus and Cascading, which will be corrupted. We'll get Yashiraj. Like, I'm actually pretty okay with this state. Penflingers can't hit my face anymore, so it's not even like I'll take that much damage. It's more of the have to deal with a giant minion every single turn. That is a problem. I mean, my hope is I burn some Lyrums of Hope with Ticketus. That is the big hope. What's your goal rank until stream ends? 1800, 900? Um, honestly, I don't know. I actually have no idea what my, like, goal rank is. <clears throat> I don't think I have a goal rank, really. <clears throat> Ticketus burned some Librams of Hope. We burned one Librum of Hope. We burned a Mancrick as well. Both th That's huge. That's big. That's pretty big. So he burned three really big, important cards. And he's got two... Good important cards left. If I don't cascading, I will take so much damage. If I don't cascading there, I will take so much damage next turn, it won't even matter what I do. So we have to kill that off. He has a Libum of Hope left, which sucks. And... I guess one Knight of Anointment. Probably a couple of other cards. A Libra of Justice. Another Pen Flinger. Did I get it? I did not get it. Okay, so his last card was Libra of Hope. That's cool. This is bad. This is pretty bad. I'm gonna have to Twisting Nether this board, I think, actually. Because he's pumping up his 8. Actually, maybe not. Depending on where he trades, I could Hysteria and still kill everything. He's mostly out of resources. He's got, like, two Pen Flingers, and that's it. If I hit... no. Oh, that's so sick, actually. I have to do that hero power hit phase. We can play this next turn, which is pretty solid. I mean, what other damage does he have? He has Libum of Justice. Like I said, he's got Libum of Justice, he's got a Pen Flinger, and there are two other cards. Those two other cards are probably either late game bombs or bad. Leave him justice, that's what I knew. A pen flinger and two other cards. What are those two other cards? That is the important question. That is the question of the day. What are the last two cards? Is sleeping at three and waking up at 10 okay? Yeah, that's what I do most of the time actually. Usually I go from three to 11. Seven hours is super healthy. Eh, I'd say eight hours is what you want to go for. 
I did not get that much sleep when I was in school. Honestly, I feel like school is so crappy. I feel like I got wrecked in school and not even like because it was my fault, but because I took a ton of like advanced classes and didn't get sleep and I was always tired. So seven hours, although not healthy, I would kill for seven hours when I was in high school, dude. Like if I wanted to balance a social life, but also get into college, there was so much I needed to do and I just never had the time to it to do it. The only thing, and also sports after school, because I played tennis and then like basketball with friends recreationally with people on the team. I was just too short to play on the actual team. I was so tired all the time. I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that. Anyway, six damage. I play Kenrathad Prime. I kind of want to play the Prime. And just develop. But then I take 7 damage. But he's got no more direct damage. And let's just do it. And play this. And if we get Envoy, that's sick. We don't. That's fine. We get, an, we get a huge board. We basically threaten lethal next turn. And I don't think there's a way that he can get lethal on me. Especially without another Leave him of Hope. Or another Leave him of Judgment. Like... I'm pretty sure I win, but I guess if he runs like Yogg and he completely blows my mind, then like, okay, that could end up being really bad, but we'll see what happens. Which path to choose? I am finished with college this summer when the summer break comes around. College was, college is so much easier than high school. Like, I don't know if other people have similar experience, but like, college has been so much easier than high school because like I know how much of a load that I can take and I went into high school with so many like AP credits that um it didn't really matter that much you know like obviously it's not that easy usually but I got a ton of AP credits and because of that didn't have to take as many classes like I didn't have that many GE so I basically just took like the minimum number of classes a quarter and it's been so nice for the most part my sleep schedule has been great like college has been an absolute godsend recently but i will say the biggest issue um is the fact that uh high school was bad and that was during like the most important time of my life where it was like very what's it called very um like developmental this will kill three things i mean this dies anyway we'll hit him in the face kill off three things go face and play an 8-8 even though it burns nothing i don't know i feel like high school's too hard nowadays and like my brother was in it like last year i guess this is his first year of college and he went through like the exact same stuff I did. And obviously we were like high achieving honors program in my college, um, honors in high school, like ninth highest GPA in my entire school of like 1000 people in my grade alone or something crazy like that. But even so, like, I don't feel like I should feel forced to push myself that hard at the age of like 13 to 17. And, like, obviously I didn't push myself that hard at, like, 13, 14 because it was, like, sophomore year and, and freshman year. But, like, junior year, I guess I was 17 at that point, 16, 17, 18, in that range. Like, those are still developmental years, and that level of, like, stress and work can be really bad for someone. I don't know. I've, I've had this talk with a lot of different people, and I, I've... My thoughts on it are always the same. It's too hard. But now, point is, I'm getting more sleep, and I feel happier just in general which is nice.